Hello everyone. So my name is Hong Yimin, and today I'm really glad to be here to take part in the final round. Now um, I have a question. So does anyone here love movies? Come on, don't be shy. I see one of you. So now, uh, whether you like movies or not, I can say that one major factor that makes movie interesting and feel real to us is going to be the voiceover part. Now, a lot of you think it's hard. I can't do it. No, it's not as intimidating as you see. So I'm going to give you three voice examples and a rough guide on how to achieve it yourself. Now, the first uh, voice I have is I call the grand voice, the old uh, narrator voice. It sounds like, I, from the dark of the sea, have yet to see them. Have you found it? And the sec make it deep, make it dark and bit of a growl texture to it. Now, the second voice I have is going to be the... What I'm gonna call the Dark Vader voice, it sound I am the shadows, find your Make it extremely dark, deep, and really low Now, the se third voice I have is gonna be the I'm gonna make it, but aren't you gonna make it for yourself? Hey, is that you? Now, make it very playful and joyful for you Now, I'm gonna take that into practice and invite one of my friends here to voice over for the movie Puss in Boost, The Last Wish so may you introduce yourself? Hi everyone, my name is Gil Ngân. you can call me Ngân. <laughs> I'm still confused by that. So I will voice all the male characters and she will voice all the female characters. That sound right? And shall we begin? I have many names. The Stoppy Toppy. Our Macho Gato. The Leisure Whisper. I Puss in Boots. Holy Fiole! You, launch me! And the rest of you, play double time! Hey, giant! Yeah! Hey, want to see something cool? Gracias, you've been great! Get home safely, good night! You still here? Okay, okay. One more number. I call this one. The legend will never die. I have bad news. You died. Doctor? Relax. I'm Puss in Boots. I have nine lives. And every time you die already. Uh, I'm not really a math guy. Hello, Serunita. Do you think I have a show? Do this have seen fish in it? The cat always land on his feet. Watch. Watch. Uh, uh, ah! And there's a giant today. So that's um, four? That makes eight, puss. What do you wish to do in your last life? When you only have one life, that's what makes it special. Drive, pedal! Fear me if you dare! Goldilocks in the tree, crime, crime family? You supposed to be dead. Meh. It never fails. Whenever I team up with you, things are wrong. Trust me. You don't trust him. Look at those eyes. You call that cute? <gasps> and with a boss, you? It's all so cute! Uh. Am I doing it? Stop, you're gonna give yourself a hurt, Nia. So, the film is about a cat trying to live the best out of its last life and achieving what I call his last wish. And today, my last wish is to, for this competition to be held annually over and over again for other people around the province to show their talent, have fun, and learn from each other. And so, I wish the competition a really good start and good ending, and number of results, a nice day to all of you standing here. So, have a good day, and see you soon. Okay, that was adorable. I love cats and I love your performance more. And you also have a unique voice, do you? 
Anyways, good job on your performance. Thank you very much. Now, let's see which number will be yours. It's going to be four. It's going to be, oh no. Nope, it's going to be number two. Please, the judges. Right, thanks so much. I really enjoyed your performance, and uh, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, thank you very much. And um, you got a question from uh, Mr. Michael Smithson. I'm from Nha Trang, uh, yes. and I don't know much about Yala province. So can you tell me some tourist attractions in Yala province? And what should you do to promote tourism in Yala province? Well, uh, to say about tourism attractions, I say there have always been like natural and even man-made attractions in like Yalai. So let's talk natural first. We have a lot of waterfalls like Thác Phú Cương and a lot of uh, gardens like uh, Doi Che San around here. It looks amazing. You have to see the artwork on, like, online. They're amazing. And after the natural ones, I also have like the uh, man-made one, like Gong Chieng, right? That's a, like a UNESCO-related one. And then we have other ones like the dances and like the dances of like the, ind the indigenous people here. Well, that is attraction, a lot of them. So how to promote them though? Because, well, they're not very well known. You don't know about them, that's our fault. Right, so I'll say, let's make a big campaign, right? Take pictures, look good, edit them, and then promote them outside because Vietnam have a lot of travel potential. We did not, and I mean it, did not utilize all of them at the full core ever. So if we can do more about the PR aspect and, and a lot of well, research and, well, more cost, so I'm sorry, uh, more money pour into the place and make it more attractive, then yes, there will be more tourists around here.